Welcome to Movies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And this, if you've forgotten, is my 1999 Plymouth Prowler. It's been up at the Wizards for a long time, not because it was particularly broken, it actually wasn't that broken, but we've been waiting on some Plymouth Prowler hot rod parts, and they finally are all here. Some of them are installed. And one of the big gripes people have with the Prowler when it was new is the fact that it had this 3.5 liter V6 engine. They thought since it's a hot rod tribute, it should have a V8. But if you look back to the late 90s, the biggest V8 that Chrysler had at the time was their 5.9 liter in the Jeep, and that put out a whopping 200 and 45 horsepower and it was cast iron and it was heavy this is an all aluminum v6 3.5 liter so a decent displacement and it put out 253 horsepower really not bad but there are some things you can do to get this engine well a little bit north of 300 horsepower which is probably a great place for this prowler so today i'm going to show you everything we've done so far to get this prowler ready to go it hasn't been that much and then we're going to do the one thing that they say can completely transform these cars the best thing you can do for prowler performance but first we're going to do a hoopty fleet update with the wizard which wizard wizard there's the wizard and just to show how versatile he is he's he's working on a kia sorrento or at least he's supervising a uh, Kia Sorento repair. Yeah, Magic Mike's doing the work today. Timing belt? Yep. Timing belt. This one was actually on the verge of slipping so bad. It actually skipped two or three teeth already. It was on the verge of a grenaded motor. Wow. This is actually my sister's first car, a Kia Sorento. Oh, yeah? She actually got T-boned in one. Uh, thank goodness it had side impact airbags. It was one of the first cars to have side impact airbags, so it kind of saved her life. Uh, wow. But I'm very proud of you, Wizard. How's that? You're about the only mechanic I know that is completing his own projects. Like I mean, his own pet project. YouTuber, especially. Yeah. Kind of, yes. <laughs> so I was with you with the Volkswagen Beetle Turbo S, mm -hmm. and then you also finished your Fleetwood. Yes, it's a running and driving Cadillac again. Cruise works, AC works. It's dusty and dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet, but we just got it done. It's, it's alive again. That's awesome. So originally you were going to put some crazy diesel in it, but then you thought you got wiser. Yeah, I didn't want to hack the car up. It, it's too nice. The interior especially is immaculate. So. Mm. And speaking of finished projects, the Mercy Lago. <laughs> yes. It it's on the ground, huh? Yeah. It's, it's ready for me to drive? Yeah, it's done. Oh, man. So I bought this with a bad transmission. The wizard had to tear it completely apart, uh, take the engine out to replace this transmission. There's been complications, new clutch, uh, but, but it's good now? It's good. All right. Shifts, shifts good, drives good, everything works. Yeah. Ready to rock. We'll have to save that for the next video, uh, but I'm going to be driving this uh, today, for sure. And next to it, under the plastic, is the DB7, which had a great result on cars and bids. Thirty-four thousand dollars. Thirty-four thousand. Yeah, I, I wow, actually might have made a little money on a car, which n never happens. Not very much money, don't worry. But it's off to a great home. I'm definitely going to miss it. You've taken care of all the other little odds and ends. It's mm -hmm. freshly serviced, so service ready to go too. Ready to go. And the front end on my '51 Woody is back together as far as the headlights. The wiring's going well. Mm-hmm. The wiring is done pretty much in the engine bay. We've got the interior apart we're working our way towards the back of the car yeah this looks way better way better yes so what's the story with the speedometer because it was going cuckoo for cocoa puff i'll show you so the, there's an internal drum inside of there and it's all the bearings and things are broke so it just you can yeah. just keep going and going and going and it just goes crazy find probably can find a good used one yeah, I'm not too concerned about the mileage or whatever it says on there. That's not going to make a big difference. So, yeah. Okay. Well, the interior is still apart, but you can see all the new wiring going in. All that way, we there. don't have to worry about this kindling. Yeah, we don't need to burn it to the ground. <laughs> oh, and look at that flathead. I can't wait to fire it up. Mm, it's a beautiful engine. Yeah. So, let's go talk about this Prowler Wizard. All right. So I got an incredible deal on this Prowler, only 16,000 and some change, which made it the cheapest Plymouth Prowler in the USA, and it didn't have too many needs as far as maintenance items. Uh, it's actually in pretty decent shape. Yeah. Yeah, you did the timing belt just as a preventative. Timing uh, belt, water pump, valve cover gaskets, and did all the fluids and service on the engine. You can see the sway bar links we did down there. We upgraded them to the metal ones that are not going to fall apart like the old ones did. Yeah, that's a slight upgrade there. The old ones looked awful. And then there was a window regulator that was uh, yeah, messing up. Here. It's been sent off and repaired. And 
back together and it works great now. Awesome. So that's all the repairs, but now the Plymouth hot rodding has also begun. That's why this panel is off. You can see not only does it have a performance intake on it, uh, but also this is the engine computer and we sent that off for a tune, which is supposed to gain something like 30 horsepower. Additionally, there's a transmission tune you can do as well that makes the shifts, the auto stick shift a little tighter. So that should help with acceleration. And there is an exhaust that was installed as well. It's on, yes. Yes, so an exhaust as well. The goal is to get it a little over 300 horsepower, which is great. But the one thing that's going to change this dramatically is the gearing. We're going to change the rear end gearing, which is a little different because this is a transaxle. And the kit, the kit is uh, not what you would expect. So basically in a stock prowler, which I guess we'll see in a bit once we get it off, uh, it has two gears that are basically the same size. By making this one smaller, it, it tightens up the ratios? Yeah, it changes the ratio. This is like a transfer chain. It transfers from the transmission over to the actual differential. And this is going to change the ratio to give more torque down low. Nice. And then this will change the computer. Yeah, this is a little module to change your ratio for your speedometer. I see. So another complaint with Prowler owners is that you can't really do burnouts. I was able to in kind of loose, gravelly pavement. Uh, but with this, this will snap up that rear end quite a bit. And as far as like on the highway, it won't be howling either. I think they said that like the final drive at 80 miles per hour is still not at 3,000 RPM. So it shouldn't be too obnoxious to drive on the highway as well. And they say this is the best thing that you can do to this Prowler to, to really hop it up. So I, I guess we'll see, huh? So there's the bottom end of those new sway bar links. Yep, no more rattling now. Looks very nice. Leading back to this exhaust, which, uh, Definitely looks the part. Yep. You said it's a little quieter though, huh? I think it's actually quieter than the original, but it has a deep low drone now and not real high pitched. I think that was the goal. Nice. Well, I'm excited to hear that. And back here is the transmission. So the Prowler, as I covered in the first video, is actually a pretty innovative vehicle as far as its uh, modded aluminum construction, its rear mounted transmission. It just looks retro from the outside, but it's actually a very advanced car. And somewhere inside of this transaxle, I suppose, is a uh, the gears we're looking for, huh? I'm gonna remove this cooler and then this case with these rusty bolts you can see. That's where the chain is at. All right. Pretty simple, really. Not too hard to get to. I'm gonna go get a drain pan. You want me to help? No. <laughs> <laughs> let it leak for a minute. I don't want that on my shirt. Oh, just let it go. Do mm. it for YouTube. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Very nice, wizard. All that fresh fluid that we're wasting. Should I just take a shower in it? So there there's is. our chains, huh? Yeah, that's it. You can see they're equal, roughly equal size. This one's a tiny bit bigger, but they're roughly the same size. Yeah, in comparison. And this is a great big difference here. Huge difference. Okay. So this will make my rear end a little more snappy, huh? Yes. So how do these come off? There's some little snap rings here. I gotta get off of there. And they just slide off. And now... It's off. There it is. Anybody need a Prowler OEM gear set? Well, that's way easier than swapping a differential. Yes. Okay, it seems like that one needs to go a little deeper, huh? Yeah. I need to make sure I've got these on the right. Thingamabower. So Wizard is consulting the instructions, which men do not like to do, and they had mounted it backwards, I guess, one yeah, of the they gears. got this one upside down. Ah. There we go. There's a diesel getting after it. Okay, now it should go in. Yes? I'm just making sure everything's right. It should. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's it. Beautiful. No gasket, just nope. Just silicone. Siliconed it on from the factory. Okay. Down she goes. Yep, we'll start it up and check the transmission fluid and refuel any of that we lost. And you can go out and try it out. That only took about 30 minutes. I'm gonna charge you two hours. Okay, well, here is the uh, transmission computer, which I guess is where the wiring goes, that little adapter or whatever. Yeah, isn't that an odd place to just throw random computer placement? Huh, yeah. Made it easy to remove to send off to get tuned, huh? Yeah, well, the dipstick's down here under the carpet. Okay. Remove this plug. There it is. How about that? You check it running? Yeah, it has to be running. I guess I can hear this exhaust for the first time. Mm. Huh. Isn't it quieter? It is a little quieter, but it is definitely meaner. Deep. Yeah, I got a growl. Well, this is a little different than what I'm used to with the Lamborghinis and the uh, BMWs. Just a uh, a very simple but interesting car that, uh, well, it, it, it's not hard to fix. Oh, these things are awesome. All good? Yep, I'll let you drive it and see what you think, and then we'll put on the electronic module later. Make sure everything's good to go before we start cutting and splicing. Well, it wouldn't let me work on it, but it'll let me test drive it. Yes. Oh, we got it at least here at Rev, right? Definitely sounds meaner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has a little more spunk too. All right, out on the open road and the auto stick is engaged and... Good God. Did you hear that? That noise. <laughs> That's an amazing noise and amazing power. Holy moly. <laughs> One two shift actually squeaked the tires. Are you serious? <laughs> this is amazing. One more time, down shift. And then the speedometer, it, it's still off. <laughs> so it's like the zero to 60 is three seconds according to the gauge, uh, but, but obviously not. It, it is way faster and way more fun, <laughs> but it's not hypercar fast. Oh my goodness. All right, so auto stick engaged. Let's see if it'll do a burnout on normal pavement. Oh yeah. Obviously not true. I almost don't want to fix that because it makes me feel really studly in this this purple prowler. <laughs> well, there is only one word for this thing. It is an absolute hoot. It is a hoot. This thing was fun to drive before, but now it is an absolute blast. So let's just put it to bed right now. The V6 was the perfect engine for this car, for its time, and now it has well over 300 horsepower, I would imagine. At least the seat of the pants feeling feels way, way faster than, say, an LT Camaro of the era, or pretty much any Ford Mustang of the 90s. This thing, <laughs> this thing's awesome. Still needs a few things buttoned up with this panel back on and wire up the speedometer so it reads correctly that I'm not going 100, but I'm going, well, 55, and uh, she'll be coming home. Definitely needs a detail, though. I'm so happy with this thing. The are awesome. Thank you for watching.